What's going on everyone? It's Tay with Spectacular Gadgets. And in this video, we'll be taking a look at the Ming Sung Camera Video Sunglasses. Now I picked this up off of Amazon for about $70. I'm interested to see what the quality is for audio and video. And I know you are too. Let's do this. Starting off with the quick start guide, this will be your friend, so make sure you keep this handy. This is telling us a little bit of information about the glasses functionality wise, operational wise, as well as important information regarding the micro SD card, which is included with your purchase. Also included, they give you a nice little carrying case so that you can store your glasses when not in use. Let's go ahead and take a look what's inside. Now, the first thing I see is activate your warranty now and get a free gift. You have to visit that website. So the card is actually pretty thick on the back, customer support. They also include a cleaning cloth. You'll have to connect these to your computer in order to watch any video that you've taken. Now here's a close look of the glasses and obviously you see the camera right in the middle. We're talking about a 1080p resolution for this camera here. So there you have it right in the center. So it's not so discreet, but I guess you have to be pretty close to a person to see that that is a camera. Let's continue to take a look around the glasses. And here we are, uh, the sides look kind of thick. The glasses themselves have a little bit of weight. So we'll see how the comfort is. Now on the left side and the inside, you see reset, USB. So, and then they also tell you that the mic is on the left side. So I guess this only has one mic. Flipping it over, you see right here underneath this little slot right here is where the micro SD card will be placed. Remember again, they did include it with the purchase. So to get it out, you have to push in with your fingernail and then it will pop out. Here we have a 32 gigabyte micro SD card to scan this. So they have included that to put it back in. You simply just make sure you have it in the correct direction and you will use your fingernail to push it in. So this little door right here, this is where your USB charging port is, as well as that little reset button. So right now we are looking at the right side of the sunglasses. This gives you a better look at the thickness of these sunglasses. So um, I will again put them on so I can say how I feel the comfort of these are. So here's a top look at the sunglasses again. The left side is an actual functioning button. This is how you will operate the glasses for everything that you're gonna do. Now the right side does have a button, but it's just for show. It doesn't click, it doesn't push in or anything. So remember the left side is where you're going to control the glasses. The right side is just for look. So they include a charging cable. And what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and take a power bank and charge up the glasses just to make sure they're fully charged and also to show you how to charge the glasses. So you'll plug it into whatever power source you're gonna use and the other end goes into the sunglasses. And you'll notice I have a red light and it's letting me know that it's charging. I will now show you how to power on the sunglasses. Use the left button, press it down for three seconds. Once you do that, you'll notice that you have two blue LED lights. 
Now, you hit it two times in order for it to take a picture. Yes, these sunglasses can also take pictures. As you see, I hit it twice and it was a really quick flashing. You see that? To power off the sunglasses, you will use that left button, hold it down for about three seconds again, and you'll notice the two inner lights will go dark. There is no way to view your photos and videos without the help of your computer. So in order to do this, use the included cable, plug one end into the sunglasses and the other end into your computer. I am using the GPD WinMax to test this out. And as you see, as soon as I plugged it in, I get a little prompt saying that it is on eDrive. I click on that and then I want to go ahead and view the material on this eDrive. Now what you're going to do, you see norm and you see photo. Norm is where you're going to be able to locate your video files. Not sure why it has norm, but here is all my video files that I've taken so far. Let me go ahead and click on one to show you. And this is one day that I was recording with the sunglasses. Now, in order to see your photos, you simply click on photos and scroll all the way down to the bottom. And this is where your photos will be located. Let me click on one to show you a photo. This photo I took while prepping dinner, I was having pepper steak. If you don't wanna use the cable to view the photos, you can simply just take the micro SD card out and place it into your computer using either an adapter, but in this case, I have a micro SD card slot right on my computer. So I'll go ahead and just place the SD card inside of the computer. And immediately when I do that, you'll notice it opens up the file. The next thing that I tested out was to see if these sunglasses could be used as a webcam. So what I did was go to settings to see if it came up as a device that could be used. Unfortunately, these glasses will not be able to be used as a webcam. This is a video clip of a review on the Senluo HD camera glasses that I did a while back. And as you can see, I'm using them as a webcam.
going on everyone today is a new day and i'm at a different place going for my daily walk i'm using the ming song camera video glasses and just enjoying this beautiful gorgeous day let's go ahead and take a look at this tree very interesting i'm gonna say look at this I'm wearing these glasses and I want to know from you, plus this also gives me another, is the audio and video matching up, but I'm wearing these sunglass video camera glasses or whatever. How do you think they look? Me personally, I think they look um, slightly sleek, but at the same time bulky, if that makes much sense. Um, Can you see my eyes? How dark are they? I, I see your eyes just a tad bit. So if you pull your glasses up, let me let's take see. those off. Now I actually don't see them as much. That's kind of weird that you were wearing darker glasses and can see. But so with me wearing them, um, it really helps with the brightness of the sunlight. So I do feel that it's helping out in there. But um, could you tell that these are video camera glasses? Can you tell that, that? Like, would you be able to know if I didn't tell you? Off the top, not really. I Honestly, I'm assuming the camera lens is there in the middle. Yeah. Because, I mean, it looks like just a simple indentation. Okay. Now, as soon as you told me, that made me kind of verify in my own head, like, okay, oh, it's just got some camera glasses. Okay. Um, but they did a good job, it looks like, with the lens. Um, it seems very aerodynamic as well. It's almost like something I would see, like, you know, maybe like a superhero. Or okay. Well, I appreciate your time. Thank you. Yeah. All right, have a good one. You too. My thoughts regarding these glasses are comfort wise, they are a little tight and they begin to hurt my ears a little bit, but after a long time wearing them, my ears aren't that big as you can see. And also the video quality is actually really good when you're standing still and you don't move your head around so much. But if you're walking or you do happen to turn your head and it doesn't even have to be fast, the video quality can kind of make you nauseous or at least for me it did. But in the end, the video quality again and the microphone audio is excellent. Well, that about wraps it up for this video. I want to thank everyone for taking the time to chill with me as we go through this journey. And until next time, everyone, I want you all to have a spectacular day. Later.